A classic duel to the finish among Stafford's best ends with the Sizzlers' fifth different winner in victory lane. The sixth annual Spring Sizzler saw nearly 100 cars pack the pit area in front of a sellout crowd to open the 1977 season at Stafford. In qualifying, Maynard Troyer was at the front, setting a lap of 20.26 seconds around the half mile. Troyer was among a host of drivers trying to stop Richie Evans' pursuit of three straight Sizzler wins. As for the Rapid Roman himself, he would qualify the number 61 in third. Ultra competitive qualifying races set starting positions 11th through 30th. Winners of the races included Bob Potter, George Kent, Ken Bouchard, and Brian Ross. Gene Bergen and inaugural Sizzler winner Fred DeSero would lead the field to the start of the 80 lap event, with DeSero leading early on in Old Blue. Behind them, the race to the front was on, between fast qualifier Troyer and Evans, who started 10th and 8th respectively due to the 10 car post qualifying invert. On lap 18, Troyer took the lead from DeSero with Evans close behind. By halfway, Evans was in second spot and within striking distance of the race leader Troyer. A mid-race yellow allowed Evans to gamble on pit road, taking new tires, allowing him to quickly regain most of the track position he had lost. By lap 79, Evans was in third, behind a rookie driver in the Sizzler in Bob Pulverary and the leader Troyer. In the end, it was Troyer capturing his first Spring Sizzler victory, with Paul Berry finishing second and Evans ending up third, falling short of his opportunity at three straight Sizzler victories. Maynard Troyer was quickly becoming the driver to beat in special extra distance races at the track, also claiming the win in the 1975 Stafford 200. Mark your calendars for the 50th running of the greatest race in the history of spring for Sunday, April 24th. The 100 lap open modified event will culminate a busy weekend of racing that also includes the Napa Auto Parts dual qualifying races and the past super late model 75 on Saturday, April 23rd. See the full schedule and order your tickets today at StaffordSpeedway.com.